Okay guys, so today this random bits is really a lot of stuff going on. It's like five random bits together. I, I almost want to like cut it apart and make two different random bits because so much shit happened. Like for instance, got these solar panels for 40 bucks each. 200 watts each. God damn. And I went to the De Anza College flea market and I got like these this cool shit here. Oh, and also batteries. More batteries. Can't, can't forget that. So that's good. But what I want to talk about right now is that this is kind of like my first sponsored video because later in this video you will see that I went to the Deans flea market and there's this one guy that I didn't actually film us talking for the, like 10 minutes or whatever but he has a, he had a video game booth and we ended up talking for like 10 or so minutes just about video games and stuff like that and I ended up buying like six games from him but he was he was very helpful and very friendly because he was like so are you collecting these games or are you or, or what and I was like I'm mostly playing them and, and he was like okay well then don't get that game because it's not fun get this game instead and whatever so it's like cool I mean it sounded like he like he seemed like he really cared about like helping me get get the games that I th that would be fun not the ones since I'm not really into collecting and just like I'm into them for fun and then I and then I said that and then I offered to give him a shout out in my videos and he was like Sure, that'd be awesome. So we filmed a couple seconds of whatever, and he gave his links to his Facebook or whatever. But then later on, right whenever I was leaving, he he yelled at me for me to come back, and he said, "Actually, you know what? You can have here. Let me give you a game for free." And he gave me Doctor Mario, and it's like, man, I I feel so bad. So I really have to make it up to him and give and like give him a good shout out, you know, because it's like my. It's like my first sponsor, and I, I love getting sponsored in with, by Nintendo games. That's like that's like the best payment I can think of. So yeah, not really a sponsor, but yeah, kind of. You know what I mean? It's it's like a friend to a friend almost. His name is Collector Kai. If you do not watch the rest of the video, I just want you guys to to possibly go check out his stuff. And he even has a YouTube channel. Which I'll put a link to right here. He only has like two videos on it. And I'm thinking if we can like have an influx of subscribers into his onto his channel, he might I, maybe we can get him to start making videos because he has he had a really friendly personality and I thought he was pretty cool. So it'd be really nice if you guys go and subscribe to his channel, because I mean, if not, you can always unsubscribe later. It's it's just a button you press. Well anyway, let's go back to solar panels. There. Solar panels. So here recently I've been really loving my Dell Optiplex 7020. It has plenty of computational power, but unfortunately it doesn't have a very good graphics card. The internal video processor, it just isn't very good. So today when I was at Best Buy, I bought a new graphics card. And that's it. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's a NVIDIA GeForce GT730. It's just a tiny one but should be a little bit better than what's already in there. Yep, two slots. Oh, look at that. They're the non-screwy type. They just pop right out. So this should... Uh-huh. Okay, so it just doesn't use up the entire area of the PCIe. This other one with the VGA on it just pops in like so. This little clip comes down. Thing goes back inside. And that's it. That's why I have like a weird fetish for the Adele Optiplexes. So easy to upgrade. Okay, there we go. That works wonderfully. And it also works out that these are both the exact same resolution on each monitor. So there's no like weird little gap in between where I can't go over one because I'll be running it off the monitor or whatever. Because sometimes when you have a big monitor and a small monitor, the small monitor maps to like this area on here. So you can't move over into there. You have to move your mouse up and over to get into that area that it maps into. So I just looked up what the benchmark that this computer ran at on lowest settings for Final Fantasy XIV 
before I got the graphics card, I was 6,164 compared to my laptop, which got 2,569. But now I say I'll try to run the Final Fantasy 14 benchmark again, but with the new graphics card. Oh, that's going up pretty fast. Quite happy. So it got a score of 7,400. That's a good 1,300 more points than before. I call that pretty good, but to be honest, mostly I just wanted a second monitor. Well guys, I'm here at the recycling center. Look at all this awesome stuff. Me and Jay bought two solar panels, a box of batteries, a computer, and two monitors. So here are the panels that me and Jay got. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to afford them because I, I, I didn't have any much money with me after I bought a bunch of laptop batteries, so he bought these. I'll pay him back though. They were $40 a piece, only 80 bucks for both of these. I thought they were 150 watts. They turned out to be 210 watts. So we now have 420 watts of power. They're in pretty crappy condition, but they still work. So that's pretty good. I'll probably reseal this broken glass. These are Skuko SPV 210 MSAU-1 cells, or panels. I looked these up and they should give about 200 to 210 watts at the best operation. These ones are probably kind of old though, so I mean anything over 150 watts I'm happy with. So yeah, those are pretty interesting. Very bright and reflective too, it's like wow. Then today, uh, at the re same recycling center, I got 30 laptop batteries for $50. So it's like what, two and a half bucks a piece or whatever? Well either way, it's $2.25 per pound. Which isn't a bad deal. I like whenever I'm getting things just for their scrap value. Because that's, that's basically the best deal you can get. Other, uh, aside from like finding them for free. But you're not going to find this many batteries for free. Because whoever has this many for free is probably collecting them. And, and uh, it's either going to recycle them or scrap them for money. I also got these for a dollar a piece. Look at these ribbon cables. Oh my god. So cool. This one's a SCSI connector. I believe, yeah. I don't know if I can really cut that one up because that's just too cool. Whenever I get my original IBM PC back in Illinois able to use SCSI drives, I'll use this on it. That'd be pretty cool. And yeah, I spent 20 bucks on a hard drive. It's a bit pricey for me, but I kind of I kind of needed a SATA drive, and it's like fuck it, I'll just get that. It's a 160 gigabyte one. It's okay. That's for that other little Optibucks that I got. Then I went to Halted and got these. Some arcade buttons. And some switches for my helmet light idea. Now that is where we come to the other stuff. I got this crowbar because everyone needs a good crowbar. I'll probably paint it like it's from Half-Life. Got some drill bits. And I got these because some stuff came in for a new project. I'm gonna finally say about adding lights to my tricycle. And one light to my helmet. So I can have a portable like light helmet. Also got some dash cams because I've been having some issues of somebody trying to beat me up every so often whenever they see me on my tricycle. One person, one fucking idiot just happens to like have it out for me. I don't know what their fucking deal is, but fuck them. Which is funny because that idiot, it was like, okay, the first time he, he tried to get me is because I caught him graffitiing my office building up in like northern Sunnyvale, but then <sighs> later, he, he caught me when I was moving through Cupertino on my trike a few months later, which was just a couple days ago, and he tried to be, she tried to pull me off my trike again. It's like, you idiot. I mean, first of all, you shouldn't have been graffitiing the office building in the first place. Second of all, why do you, you're just a fucking, fucking cunt. I mean, I don't care. So, got some of these. I'll carry one of these on my trike in case I need to show them the light. And... Got some dash cams, so I can have maybe one dash cam in the back, hidden inside, but with the hole drilled so it can see through. And probably one in the front, and it'll run off the 12 volt system that I'll be installing on my tricycle. These are 20 bucks a piece, I can pass that up. They're very hit and miss, these K6000 ones, or whatever they're called. They... They're very, very hit, hit, and, hit or miss. Well, one of them has... We, a weird LCD screen that flickers on and off really bad and the audio goes in and out. And this one, I think, I think it's this one, 
has good audio and a good screen. So it's like, eh, whatever. So you got some of these. Oh, also, I'm thinking about making my helmet solar charged. So I got this little five volt panel to use. And I got some of these. Okay, so we have some of these teeny tiny little voltmeters that will read from 2.5 to 3 volts, or 2.5 to 30 volts, I'm sorry. Got a couple of those, like a dollar and a half a piece. Got some of these. These are little circuit boards that take in lithium cell voltages and then put out 12 volts exactly to run these motorcycle headlamps. So that'll be an easy conversion. I'll just have one series packs with a bunch of cells in parallel, so a bunch of lithium cells, so that I won't have to do any balancing or whatever. And then I will have... Well, I can't remember for sure why I bought these, but these are basically just, I think these are stuff down converters. No variable ones, just to have if I need anything. But... With this whole thing, I'll probably get, go out and get one of those little solar charger things. You know those little, little, little power supplies where they have like a little, uh, little solar panel on them, a little lithium battery, and they're meant to be like a solar powered phone charger. They're kind of gimmicky, but they are a, a charge controller. I'll just take the circuit board out and hook the charge connector up to the big battery pack on my helmet, and I'll connect. I'll disconnect the solar panel from the little unit and hook this one in there, so it'll, it'll be handling a lot more power. But it should be fine, you know? I say this should have like, because this is the helmet of course, should have like eight lithium cells on the back and like a curved surface to have a nice flat battery pack but still having lithium cells on it. And then I went to a friend's house and I actually 3D printed a mount for this so I can actually mount this bulb on here. And so I can easily mount it on the front. It's going to be so cool I think. I really haven't looked into how I'm going to mount this on here though. be nice to mount it like, I don't know, like that. Oh, and I also got another mag light just to fuck around with and try to like replace the incandescent bulb with an LED. So yeah, I've, I feel bad because I spent a lot of money this week, but I've gotten some pretty awesome stuff. Especially these. I'll probably, I'll probably make an entire video about just hacking these apart. I don't know, maybe this video. Really depends on what I feel like doing today. Not really sure. So last night I added the hard drive to my old Optiflex that I just got from the recycling center last week. And I finally got Windows XP on it. It's working pretty well, I think. Unfortunately, now I have the monitor swapped to where this monitor goes to that computer and that monitor goes to that computer. The older Dell Optiflex that I just got, it doesn't seem to have the graphics power to run in pretty much anything. So I'm going to run to Best Buy and get a $35 graphics card and pop it in there. And that should be good enough just to run probably Final Fantasy at a few frames per second. Just enough to run my 3D Ripper DX program on here to rip all the 3D models from the video memory. Oh, and that commuter car in Indiana is actually still for sale. So if it's not sold by the 12th, I'm going to get it. Awesome. But we have some bigger stuff to do right now because the DNs of flea market is happening today. So I say let's go to that. I just realized again that I forgot my windscreen on my camera. I mean, just a piece of foam that's taped on there, but still. God. That's a lot more stuff this time than last time. Damn. That's the kind of junk stall that I like. None of this other shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm ready. Later. All right. Great to see you guys. Mm. He owes you. All my wife, Bella. I got that for $5. I don't think it's too bad of a deal. The guy was really nice. Look at this one. Got those bucks with the tongs. Good score already. Once again, $5 for those. No old forging hammers yet, but I'll find some eventually, hopefully. I could easily lose all my money on just those Pokemon cards right there, so I, I better just refrain. I have enough back at home, like 2,000 or so anyway. Collector, you said? Yeah. Okay. My name is Collector Kai. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Awesome. I post pictures of all my stuff and I go all throughout the Bay Area. See me anytime. Yeah, okay, cool. There you go, man. Thanks for the games. Anytime. What? I like something RPG ish. Let's do. You can have this copy of Dr. Mario. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. I want you to have it. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. So guys, buy from that guy. I'm totally biased, but buy from that guy. Thank you very much. Ever since that game shop, I've actually ever since I got that blowtorch, I've only had five dollars, but that was halfway through, so. 
Let's see if I can get through the rest of this two rows without spending that $5. Oh my god, the guy with that, the guy selling the vice was way too touchy-feely. He wanted 30 bucks for it, and I said I only have five with me, and he, he put his arm on, uh, uh, he put his hand on my shoulder, and then I like, grabbed my arm, and he was like, uh, good friend, I'll give you a deal or whatever. It's like, eh, nah, I don't think so. A little creepy in my opinion. A little creepy. I think he, I think he thought I was bluffing about or lying about having only five dollars with me, but no, I only have five dollars with me now. I see Nintendo games. God, more Nintendo games. Marble Madness? Oh yeah. Those Nintendo games, even that one in the box, were only $8, so I gotta get some money and come back. I just went to Target, got a soda, and got the cash back, cash back feature. Well, I got it. You know, it occurred to me, I see other people with their bicycles around, so why not mine, you know? <laughs> oh well. Not to be a total asshole, though. I'm only gonna walk it in there. So I'm quite happy with that. That one guy was pretty cool. He gave me Dr. Mario just to give a shout out. It's like, hell yeah. Got one of these. Uh, soda, forgot about that. A clamp. And some forging tongs. Oh my god, guys, I just. So awesome. That guy, uh, what's his name? Collector Kai? Let's see. Oh, I found he had a YouTube channel too. I mean, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram are. They're fine and all, I guess. I think they're all shitty. So I think we should subscribe to his channel and cut, try to drag him into YouTube. Because YouTube's video, not just pictures or 200 character tweets or whatever. Fuck that shit. You can have so much more customizability in YouTube. Because you can do like videos and stuff. I, th I think it'd be cool to get like if we if we if we even got him like 300 subscribers, they'd probably be like, oh my. He'd probably be like, oh my god, 300 subscribers, and you start making videos or whatever. That'd be kind of cool. So yeah, uh, there's a link to his channel up here. You just click on that and it'll take to his channel. I went back to the other booth and I got Marble Madness, as you probably already saw. It's pretty nice. Not bad for eight bucks for that, I don't think. Yeah, that's the Dr. Mario card that he get, that uh, Collector Kai gave me. It's like, oh my god. It's, it is one of those games that a lot of people try to get. I got Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Fester's Quest. He actually gave that one to me for free, too. It's like... Oh, my, oh man, so he actually gave me two free games. God, that's... Man. Rygar, of course. Castle Quest, that looks kind of cool. And Wizardry, Master's Series. Huh, weird. And I got this clamp. These forging tongs, which look like they're actually handmade. Yeah, they look like they're hand-forged. Let's go in the shade over here. Yeah, look at that. Those are awesome. I've always wanted a pair of forging tongs, especially now that I want to get back into blacksmithing. I was looking for an old hammer, but I say, let's try and make our own hammer. And you know what, now that I have this, I can try to get this thing working. The guy actually said it did work, so that's nice. I mean, I don't trust whatever the seller says, but whatever. This is... Clayton? 
and Lambert, uh, Clayton and Lambert Manufacturing Co. trademark made in USA. Not bad at all. Wow, it's not broken. That's the first time I've seen one that's not broken. <coughs> Doesn't look too bad at all. Okay, it's giving a little bit of air now. A little, I mean, a little bit of like pressure. Let's see if it. Uh... Oh, nice. Uh... That's even better than the one I have back in Illinois. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that. that... It doesn't look really good. <laughs> it looks pretty bad, but... I don't know. I don't know. I'll leave it like that. We'll just take this off. And this should be able to thread it in there by itself. Every time I do that, dust keeps coming out the back. Okay, cool. I know it, it'll burn pretty much everything, kerosene or gasoline or whatever. But does it have to be a specific octane rating? No, no, no. It, it, it is like the widest range of fuels it'll burn. So if... It can even burn like... like diesel, yeah, you can burn acetone in it and everything. I've seen some... I, at least I saw somebody run acetone in one. <laughs> uh, with a bad seal. <laughs> with that one, one yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather to redo that one. When it when it warms up, though, the gas smell will go away because it burns it completely. Mm. Well, that's new. Yeah, I know. It occurred to me we can actually use this as, as like a temporary forge to heat shit up. I don't know though. I mean, there must be like a pretty low upper limit to how hot that can get. Right? Uh, <laughs> it gets hot enough to make uh, steel red hot though. I've been having a hard time finding one of these for a good deal. Some people have been, been wanting like $50 for one that doesn't work, so it's crazy. I got this one for $20. You know, $20 for one that works, eh, I'll get it, you know? So we have my Seek Thermal camera. And this is what it looks like. Oh, 626 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's turn that up. Oh, shit. Ah, it looks like I can't get it restarted. It's running out of fuel. But oh well. Look at the temperature go down. It goes down pretty fast. So I'll definitely be making a video about restoring this thing and removing all the rust and shit. Never actually had one that has the metal on the back. 
so cool. I love it. Oh my god. I'll probably go ahead and get some kerosene and or actually I'm gonna look at what gas is would would burn the hottest. So let me guys know what you think. Should I use this as like my a temporary forge? Maybe like a make like a little furnace that I can place this in front of and it'll help the fire inside there. And what what fuel should I run it off of? What would be hottest? Gasoline? Maybe diesel? Kerosene? Who knows? I'd like to know what you guys think. Well, I'm going to call it quits for this video because me and Jay are going to work on the solar panels. That's the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!